40 years ago, Rod Serling introduced us to a monster. A monster so powerful he was able to make the world disappear just by using his mind. For the residents of Peaksville, Ohio, the nightmare had begun. The monster knew their every thought, could feel their every emotion, and when they made him angry, which was often, he would banish them into a cornfield from which there was no return. And the most frightening thing about this monster was that he was only six years old. Now, it's 40 years later, and the people of Peaksville are still in hell. Oh yes, there's one other thing. The monster now has a child of his own. And though she possesses none of her father's powers, he still loves her very, very much. Audrey, I'm bored. Let's climb down. You can see the whole world from up here. Big deal. All the way to the interstate. My grandma says the world used to go past the interstate. That was a billion years ago. Come on. Daddy to hear you. Audrey, please, sweetie. Audrey? Is something wrong? It was an accident. Yeah, they were just playing, that's all. Audrey, I've told you time and time again not to climb that tree. You took a few spills from those branches when you were little, remember, Anthony? Please don't hurt him, Daddy. He didn't mean it. I know he did it. I won't hurt Timmy, honey. He's your friend. And he's always thought good thoughts about us, haven't you, Timmy? Yes, sir. Always, sir. Good afternoon, Anthony. Agnes. Hey, buddy. It's a nice day, isn't it? Oh, it's a real nice day. Yeah. Well, let's go, son. Mom's waiting. Tell me something, George. What kind of a boy pushes a little girl out of a tree? Did you do that, son? It was an accident. Well, it had to be. Timmy's a good boy. Agnes, I told you this wasn't a good you idea. Told her what, George? It was nothing, Anthony. It was nothing. Why wouldn't you want your son to play with my daughter? I didn't say that. No, but you're thinking it. You're thinking it right now, aren't you? No. I thought you were my friend. Anthony, I am. Then why are you sweating? I don't know. It's hot out here, isn't it? I'm not hot. Mom, are you hot? Anthony, don't. I've been around people like you all my life. People who pretend to be my friend. Pretend to like me. But you don't like me, do you, George? Better head on home, Timmy. Your mother's probably worried about you. I bet Timmy will never play with me again, and it's all Daddy's fault. Oh, now, Audrey. Yeah. You remember how important it is to think good thoughts about Daddy. There are times I get mad at him, too, but I shield those thoughts. Remember how I taught you to do that? I don't care. I hate him. Sweetie, don't say that. We don't want to make him angry, do we? I don't care. I hate him. <laughs>
sight and sound, but of mind. A journey into a wondrous land whose boundaries are only that of the imagination. You're entering the Twilight Zone. Audrey, tell me, is this the first time you've ever done anything like this? Are we gonna tell Daddy? When the time is right. But until then, you mustn't use your powers. You can't even think about them in front of your father. Don't worry, Grandma. Daddy can't read my thoughts. How do you know that? Because I can read his. Daddy, what happens to people when you send them into the cornfield? They get to stay there forever. I know, but what kind of place is it? Oh, it's a it's a good place. It's a really good place, and uh, and, and the people that are there are happy all the time. But if it's such a happy place, why do you only send them there when you're angry? Well, I, I do it for their own good, so I won't hurt them anymore. I'm gonna miss playing with Jimmy. You think you could bring his daddy back so he'll play with me again? Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, honey, but you know, once I send something away, I, I can't bring it back. Audrey, wanna come for a walk with me? Don't be too long. It's bowling night tonight. Afternoon, Lorna. Oh, look, my favorite neighbors. See these tomatoes? They're the best I've grown in I don't know how long. My word. I was thinking of bringing some over to Anthony. Oh, he does like his tomatoes. But first, I got something to show you. Something special. Sweetheart. See that big rock? Can you make it go away? dreamed about someone with the power to finally get rid of that monster I gave birth to when I think of all the suffering all those people sent away my husband your husband even his own wife the entire world he took everything left us nothing if only I'd been strong enough brave enough to bash his head in years ago no one blames you Magnus Will Audrey be strong enough to stand up to him? Well, she will be. I'll make sure of it. Oh! Oh! That was real good, Anthony. A real good shot. Oh. I bet you rolled at least five, maybe six hundred perfect games over the years. You can never roll enough perfect games. Oh, that is so true. Oh, you're such a smart boy, Anthony. I'm not a boy, Mother. Of course you're not. You've always been my little boy. All those freckles. It's no wonder I never had the heart to punish you. Punish me? For what? And why is everybody staring over at Audrey? Are they? I didn't notice them. They're happy because she's so happy. They're thinking good thoughts. Real good thoughts. I guess. Just keep it here, okay? I'll, I'll be back. Then I'm going to keep score for you. 
I will have another perfect game. Then everybody will be watching you. You know uh, that they were talking about? I just told them you people. Are you out of your mind? I, I just wanted to give them some hope. I mean, they've been without hope for so long. We can't risk having me finding out about Audrey's powers. Not yet, anyway. Please, Anthony, I'd, I'd rather not. I'm tired of bowling by myself. Well, but I'm, I'm no good. <laughs> you, you should find somebody who's better. I want to play with you, bowl. You're the best bowler in town. Well, they could at least try and beat me. That would make me happy. Don't you want me to be happy like everyone else? What about you, Joseph? Do you want me to be happy? <laughs> hey, Daddy. Want to play a game of pinball with me? You're a good girl, Audrey. Isn't she a real good girl? Come on over here. Can we just go home? I'm tired. Yeah, I'm tired too. I don't like secrets. Anthony. What were you and my mother talking about at the bowling alley? Were we talking? I, I, I don't recall. Why don't you ask Agnes? I'm asking you. It was something about Audrey, wasn't it? You better tell me. You better tell me right now. <laughs> And this is when your grandpa and I went to New York. You should have seen it. All those tall buildings and the different stores you could shop in. Yeah, and the cars, oh, I never saw so many cars. <laughs> Why did Daddy get rid of cars? Well, same reason he, he got rid of electricity. And those tall buildings and the stores and the all the people. But what reason? Well, because they annoyed him or, or made him angry or frightened him. Oh, Audrey, will you look at this watch? Your grandpa gave that watch to me on our second anniversary. Uh, nobody has watches anymore. Did Daddy get rid of them too? One day, he was late for supper, and I guess I got a little annoyed at it. I showed him what time it was, and... That was the end of watches. <laughs> <laughs> it looks pretty. It was. Like it, don't you? You can bring things back. Mom? Audrey? Maybe we shouldn't tell Daddy. It might make him feel bad. You know, because he 
can't bring things back. All right. Maybe I won't tell it. Guess what I heard? People have been keeping secrets about my daughter. What about her? Don't lie to me, mother. Don't hurt her! I'm not gonna hurt her. But I don't know if I can ever trust her again. Or anyone else. Except you, honey. I got an idea. Let me see you send something away. Like what? Like that photo album. Mom, it's okay if Audrey sends away your photo album, isn't it? Of course it's okay. It's just a bunch of silly old photos. <laughs> Did you see that? Oh, yeah, that was good, Audrey. That was really good. And you're not mad at me? Why would I be? You're special, like me. I'm calling a town meeting at the bowling alley tomorrow afternoon. What about? That's my secret. Marla? It's me, my dear. Marla? Can you hear me? I had to punish her. She was sneaky, and I don't like sneaky people. No one can argue with that. Sneaky people are bad people, aren't they, honey? It's true. See, Mom? They agree with me. Well, it turns out that Peaksville is filled with sneaky people, and they all have to be punished. But, Anthony, we're your friends. I don't believe you, Joe. That's why you can be the first person on my list. Now I need three more. Three more for what? to be sent away, where sneaky people belong. Oh, my God! Cynthia, you can be number two. And you can be number three. And you can be number four. Anthony, you can't do this. Of course I can. It's easy. I knew about Audrey's powers before anyone, so if you have to send somebody to the cornfield, send me. Stay out of this. Grandma, you're gonna make him mad. That's not all I'd like to do. Huh? For 40 years, I did nothing. Have you tortured the people of this town? I, I, I sat back and watched while you destroyed everything I cared about. Everything I loved. Not everyone. You love me. Love you? Love you? I cursed the day I gave birth to you. Night after night, I lie awake in bed, thinking of ways to put an end to this madness, to put an end to you. And you want to know why, Anthony? Because you are a bad man. A very bad man. The worst that ever lived. Oh, I'm warning you. You are a monster. A spoiled, vicious monster. And if anybody deserves to be in the cornfield, it's you! Oh, do it. Wish him away. Do it now. Do it now! Audrey? Audrey, what are you waiting for? I can't hurt Daddy.
What's wrong, Daddy? I don't know. Just a little lonely, I guess. I bet I know it would cheer you up. What would that be? brought what back? Everything. All the different countries, the cities. You think we could visit New York? New York's a big place. Lots of people. Yeah, and they all better be nice to us or you know what we'll do to them. Excuse me. You folks know the way to Highway 10? And after New York, we can visit all kinds of places. I've never been anywhere else but Peaksville. It'll be fun. You'll see. Hey, buddy, you deaf? Are you happy now, Daddy? You bet I am, honey. It's gonna be a good day. A real good day. No lesson to be learned here. No morals to be taught. Just an update from Peaksville, Ohio, where Anthony and Audrey Fremont want you to think happy thoughts. And you better do as you're told. Otherwise, you might wind up in that cornfield known as the Twilight Zone. <laughs>